Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I've got a Dollar Tree haul and an Alex. Wellington's in his little basket sleeping away like he does. Um, I got a Dollar Tree haul for you. I'm drinking peppermint mocha in my pumpkin mug. It's all the seasons, don't judge. I had a, about a quarter of a bag of the peppermint mocha left in the freezer. And I was like, well, let's get that drank because it's almost time to start buying fresh. And I was trying to, you know, use up the things that are open. So I finished that one. I've got another bag that's half open that I need to finish. And then I can start with fresh. Mm. It's delicious though. I made the big decision. This was crazy for me anyway. I put the Keurig away, it's in the garage, and I brought out the real coffee maker. I know, big decisions in my house. Hey you, you wanna come say hi to everybody? They misses you. Let's see if I can get Alex to come here. Come here, Alex. You come here. He's sitting right here staring at me like, lady, I'm not moving. Come here, Alex. Oh, well, come here, Dub. Somebody's coming. All right, I've got some bags. I didn't get a whole ton. My store's kind of in a flex again. You say hello? Oh, somebody just woke up. Yes, Wellington, he's doing good. The boys are doing great. Um, they don't mind when the dogs come. They could care less. Actually, I think uh, Luna's coming this week to visit. Just for a little bit. Well, her mom runs some errands in town. Okay, let's get started on a pretty quick Dollar Tree haul. Um, yeah, like I said, that my stores are kind of a mess right now. The one main store that I go to to find the fabulous stuff literally had boxes exploding all over the store yesterday. So I'm going to wait till like Tuesday and go back in and see if they've got it all put away. All right, let's go. Um, I found this coffee mug. Guys, excuse me. Hi. You know, I, I have a love-hate relationship with these mugs. I love them, but they don't keep they don't keep your coffee very warm. But that's okay. Look at this. It's the sugar skull, and then there's like roses. Isn't that awesome? This will be so fun for my October mug. So I grab that, and like I've said before, typically I'll use it like every single day, and then get rid of it at the end of the season. Um, I picked up some creamy cocoa butter because my hands are getting dry. I've been doing a lot of cleaning, which is funny. It's called creamy cocoa butter, but the active ingredient is Vaseline. Um, the actual, I'm reading the back of the, I'm not even sure I see cocoa butter in here at all. I, I don't know. But anyway, I needed some. I was at the store, my hands are really dry. I've been doing a lot of cleaning, a lot of dishes. I feel, apparently I am nesting for winter. Is that a thing? I feel like most people clean their house in the spring. I'm all about like getting everything done and organized before winter gets here and then I'm good. I don't know. So I grabbed these uh, treat bags. I like how they're, you tie them here so they're not having to be totally full. I got those for our Halloween party. And then for some co-workers I'm going to be seeing this weekend, I'm making that Chex Mix. I will make a video. I'm probably going to make it on Wednesday. Um, so I thought that was fun. Even though it is technically Halloween, I don't care. There's some candy corn on it, the pumpkins. It's a fall blend. It's going in the bag. So I grabbed those. And these are great. There's 20 bags in each. So I can get plenty for, of these for this year and then put them away with my bags and stuff. I just didn't have any seasonal. Um, for the kids party, I grabbed a pack of these. I didn't even look to see. Oh, 10 pieces. So that should be plenty. Um, here we go. They are candy bracelets and they're going to be a bunch of teenage girls at our little party on Halloween. So I thought those would be fun. So I grabbed just to bring and put them on the table and let the kids grab them. I thought those would be fun. Seasonally, I found the cinnamon pine cones. They smell so good, guys. Um, I grabbed two. I like that they're tiny little pine cones, and I hope that the smell lasts until Christmas. 
Um, but I might put them out at like Thanksgiving time, but I'm gonna keep them in a bag like this. And I should get, do I have cinnamon essential oil? I might have to look, because I could touch them up with some essential oils maybe. I don't know. So I grabbed those. I literally only saw two at my store. So I don't, I'm not sure what's happening. Um, I need you to be prepared for this. These are sloth page markers. What? Like what? I love the emo sloth right there with his little book, but they're like sticky bookmarks and I read a lot. So these are awesome. I think I have cat ones kicking around here somewhere, but these are sloths. Did you hear that? They're sloths. I also saw dogs, but I didn't grab those. All right, bag down. Bag number two. Oh, I found these. I don't know if this is weird. They're the no-show socks. I mean, you know, these like, what are they called? Shoe liners. They're men's. But my theory is, look at that. These are men's. That the women's do not stay on my feet. They slide right off my heel. And I can't figure out if it's because they're too tight or too loose. So I thought these are bigger um, than the women's. So we're going to try them. I'm putting them on right now. Nope. It's not better. I think I just have a narrow heel. They're just going to slide right off my heel, just like the ladies do. Here, I'll show you. It's, but it, again, it just slides right down my heel. Well, pew. However, they're very comfortable and they're not tight at all. So I think these would be great to wear around the house. I just won't wear them with shoes. But I was fascinated that they were in the men's section. And they're nice and thick, which is nice. I'm kind of, it's nice. I'm kind of obsessed with socks right now because it's getting to be that time where I have to start putting socks on my feet. I'll probably put this on my feet too. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of the foot. Um, oh, I need to keep this. When I knit socks, this is almost a perfect representation of how long I would like my socks to be. Um, anyway, I'm not a huge fan of socks, but I don't like my feet cold either, so. Um, I found a piece of decor with the elephant. This is thick and heavy, and it's going to go in my bedroom, which I'm, is very boho. Um, so this is going to sit on my dresser. So I grabbed it, and I love the gray color. It matches my bedroom. I could also put a hook on the back if I wanted to hang it on the wall, but I think I'm going to sit it on my nightstand. So that's just for decoration. I found two of these, and um, I might leave one for summertime, but I'm definitely going to decorate one, like sand it, repaint it, and I think I want to do a Christmas something on here. I think. So I'll hold on to that, but I like I just love these flowers. They're like a foam, but they're a pretty color. And I think that would be beautiful for springtime. These flowers are all mushed, so I'll just redo this one. So what I think, I'll do is sand the front, paint it, and then put like, I don't know, something. Something creative will happen. I just don't know right this second what that will be right? Isn't that how it works? Do you want to see me put socks on again? No. Nobody wants to see that. Okay. I found, I mean, I didn't find them, but I picked them up. Two of the, um, styrofoam balls. I'm debating on snowman or pumpkins. Again, Something creative will happen with those. I just grabbed them. I don't always see the ball, that ball size. Um, I grabbed some light brown sugar to make the harvest mix. I'll bring you along. And I don't typically have brown sugar in my house. So the recipe is butter, brown sugar, and vanilla. And then, so it's like a caramel apple. You cook it down, or not a caramel apple, like candy corn. You cook it down and then you um, coat the cereal and bake it on a low like 275 and let it dry out like you would caramel corn. And then you mix candies in with it. I think I'm just gonna do candy corn in this batch. 
that's Wellington. Um, yeah, so I'll show you. I grabbed another pair of these in this black, but do you see like the shimmer to it? I'm gonna make a gnome out of these. Actually, I could probably do two with the leg warmers and the gray beard and the black body. And I thought, how perfect is that shim? It just, it's not glittery, but it's just a sparkle. I love it. These are also great socks. These are called Snugadoo. I believe they're a Greenbrier, yeah, they're a Greenbrier product. But um, I'm gonna make a smallish gnome. I forgot rocks. I like to put rocks in the bottom and then fiber fill. So if you wanna make a gnome with me, you're gonna need some materials. Like a gnome. I mean, like a sock, if you want to. You don't have to. You can use a Christmas tree, um, the foam, styrofoam tree shape. You can use that for a gnome too. I know, right? Some of this stuff I've had for about a week, so I don't exactly remember what I have, but you know. Um, I did mention Luna was coming, and Jody loved these treats so much. I grabbed a bag from Luna. Um, they're going to be a little big for her. I'll have to break them up. This is caramel flavored barchiato latte biscuits. They are coffee cup shaped treats. Now Luna can give or take a hard treat, but I don't feel like these are super hard. And I'm also going to bring some to my friends for her dog. I'm going to put them in a little baggie for her dog. We'll share. Luna will never go through this whole thing. I just think these are a great price. Is this a Greenbrier product? I don't think so. No, it's not. So I, these are great. I only saw these at one of my stores, but like I said, Luna will have some and I'll take some to Coco. I found one of these light up signs um i got thankful because well thanksgiving is coming here's what's fun first off i'll remove the tabby thing they light up pretty well but the other thing i like I'm, it's got a little bit of glue so i'll have to work at it i can take out Um, yeah, it just went flying across the room, but you can take out the light to either leave it unlit or what I'm going to do is paint it and then put that back in. It's across the room. Oops. But yeah, it's LED. They had thankful family and home. I wanted thankful. I think I'll paint it copper and then maybe, um, put some flowers or something. I don't know, we'll see. But for Thanksgiving, that's a nice decoration. And it was just a little bit of hot glue holding that in. So I will retrieve the tea light in a moment and stick it back with that. And then after it's painted, cause I'm gonna spray paint it, I can just pop it back in and glue it. It'll be fine. Speaking of glue, I grabbed another one of these. I'm obsessed. I just, again, I'll tell you, they work just as good as E6000 as far as I'm concerned. And these little tiny tubes are better. I'll leave it at that. I've said it a hundred times. I found the red truck. It's not red, but a truck. I don't know what color I'm going to paint it, but I am painting this. And I want to do like the black wheels with the silver and the blah, blah, and yeah, and the green tree and put some maybe paint dots on it, like ornaments. I don't know, but I have to in case I mess up one. Um, and I, this is all I found at my store. Well, there were three, but I took two and I left one. And then we can maybe even put a little piece of yellow behind there for a head. I don't know. Crafting. I found that. And then to go with it, I would like to make some ornaments. So I got the five pack of the little of the little trucks and I will paint these and hang them I think on packages this year for gifts if not the trucks and one will go on my tree but if not the gifts I have another ornament that I purchased and I want to use them on packages this year so I grabbed those because like you know if you're in your Dollar Tree and you see something that you need or want or may think you have an idea for it 
you just have to buy it because it may not ever be there again or you may not see it again. All right, Halloween stuff is going in its own little bag. All right, guys, this is all I have left. Just broke a nail. I just broke a nail. Rude. Probably when I was flinging the tea light across the room. All right, this is all I have. I picked up oops, this skeleton for a very specific reason for the party. Um, he's bent, so I need to see if I can unbend him. And I'm going to stick his, bury his body under the meat tray. I'll show you when I do it. So it's gonna be like his middle, where his organs would be, it's gonna be meat and cheese. I saw that on Pinterest and I thought it was fabulous. So I grabbed just a cheapy one um, that I can cut pretty easily and bury him. I might even glue him in a, on a tray, we'll see. So I grabbed him and then for my decor, for my cost, costume, I'm gonna give you some air quotes, costume. I bought a shirt that says, sisters, because if you've ever seen Hocus Pocus, the Bette Midler character, Winifred, sisters, fly. Um, I love that movie. I got a shirt and like a burnt orange and I'll wear like a flannel with it and a pair of jeans. But I thought I could wear a little cat headband and it comes with sticker whiskers, a nose, and maybe some eyes if I wanted to. I just thought it was cute. Um, let's see if it fits my head because I'm not going to get like dressed up, dressed up. I'm going to be cooking and entertaining the kids. I say kids, they're teenagers. And then there'll probably be some older teenagers there, but they'll probably just be there for the food. But yeah, it fits perfect. I just think that is so cute. And I can be Binks, right? And this is like a velour and then the, um, eye tattoos. So I'll keep this. And I'm going to wear this on Halloween. And they had a bunch of different ones, but black hat, duh. So I grabbed that for myself. Oh. I put the batteries in here to show you. I just hope I'll be able to show you. You know what I'll do at the end? Because you're not going to see it. I will go in the bathroom where it's dark, and I will show you what it is. But excitingly... When you click the button, it stays on. I thought you just had to like hold it, but you don't. You can just sit this somewhere. I'll show you at the end. Stay tuned for that. Okay, got a couple more things, nothing major. I bought batteries, you know that, because, well, I needed them. I got, I've not seen these, oil pastels. I don't even know what to do with these, but look at all the colors you get. I'm gonna look it up on Google on YouTube and see what I'm supposed to do with these things, but I'll show you. You get all of these oil pastel colors. Like what? For one? Oh, it's so funny. They don't even have them in order. <laughs> I guess I'll put them in order. Can you write on yourself with them? No. I'm assuming you color with them like crayons. So maybe we'll get a canvas. It's really funny because the packaging tells you all the colors, but that is not the order that they're in. Um, no, but that's okay. I was, I was surprised to find these at the Dollar Tree. I don't know. But I grabbed a package to play with and see. But yeah, you get all those colors. I thought that was a fabulous find for a dollar. And then I found the tree skirts. But I feel like maybe these were out last year. Maybe they weren't. I don't remember in the Buffalo check. They are Velcroed in the back. And they, you know, they're a tree skirt. So I grabbed two. Typically, I will put two of these trees on my mantle. Like one on either side. And this, I think, will go with my decor this year. I'm not... Ugh. Okay, first of all, I'm going to have to take a lint brush to it. This is all from the cottony stuff. But I'll get it cleaned up. It Velcros on. Yeah. And I thought maybe it would fray, but it does have a backing ironed on to it. So it's not bad quality. It's pretty thick fabric. And there's a hundred things you could do with this fabric if you didn't want to leave it as a tree skirt. So I thought this was a good idea. So I grabbed two. And then I, again, don't think I saw this last year. 
um, tree toppers for the mid, the little trees, but guys, they light up and they flash. What? Like what? I love it. So I grabbed again two of those, one for each tree. I need to buy two trees, I think. I don't remember. When I get Christmas out, we'll determine if I have trees. But that was all I found so far for Christmas. Ooh, oh my gosh, I have this white stuff all over me. Look at it, it's all over my shirt. I'll get it cleaned up. But that is everything I purchased this week at the Dollar Trees. I'm hoping that this, I've got a bright light in my eye, that this week all my stores will get restocked. One of the stores I went to today was like pretty much empty. Like all the shelves were empty. What's going on here, folks? We need some stuff. All right, let's go in my bathroom. That sounds weird. And I will show you the skull. This one is the skull, the skeleton, or the witch is upstairs. But I want to show you what this looks like on the wall. So hang on one second. <laughs> 